Good morning, folks. It's just about quarter to 11 here in Inverness. It's a Thursday morning. I hope everyone is well. It's a beautiful day here. And um, we have the international football tonight. So I hope you're all looking forward to that. If your uh, countries are playing, <coughs> looking forward to watching Scotland. So... Uh, I'm just going to flick it on here so I can see. Here we are. Great. So, uh, I was speaking last night at the the on the Rangers Online Academy, and I think that's one of uh, if there's anything even remotely positive to come out of um, over the last year is the amount that people have grasped or um, really kind of taken the opportunity to to get their heads around online learning. So what it means is is you know you can communicate, you can share knowledge, and um, it's an opportunity for people all over the world to uh, tap in and uh, listen to coaching and uh, coaching tips and strategies. So it's uh, morning there, Morris. It's uh, just a, a great opportunity. You know the the thing about technology these day, days is is phenomenal. If you uh, I've, and I've left. I've decided to leave an app. If you were on the John Collins confidence session we did on Tuesday, you know I, I was using uh, technology ecom which I use here, which allows you to split the screen and interview people. It's just amazing. So even five years ago, that would be far more difficult than it is now. So technology really kind of allows us to learn so much, but it also allows us to uh, put our learnings out there and, and have an impact on more and more people. You know, if I look at uh, this page here, there's over 28,000 coaches, players and parents on it. And uh, from all over the world, you know, Scotland, England, we've got people from Africa on it, a lot of people from the States on it, a lot of people from Australia on it, a lot of people from Europe. So oh, we're you know we're all over the world here, and that is through the magic of the interweb. You know who could imagine that uh, you could broadcast from Inverness to all over the world there, sharing our love of football. So last night I was speaking about confidence, about developing confidence in the young players. And it was with the players themselves, so there was parents and coaches involved, but it was very much about how do we develop confidence. And if you, we've spoken about this, John spoke about it on Tuesday. Confidence is a lot about preparation, you know, that's the controllable. You know, you can control how you eat, your diet and nutrition. You can control um your application and training you can control how much you're how coachable you are as well so these are all controllable aspects and what i was speaking about last night is the elements of developing confidence as a player as a youth player in particular how do you deal with the ups and downs in the game of co confidence ebbing and flowing you know and it was interesting because i asked people to suggest for them who would be a confident player who would be the epitome of confident players and you would you know the usual suspects come up you know Slatan, Messi and of course my favourite is Ronaldo I'm a great Ronaldo fan because I think Ronaldo epitomises growth mindset for me you know for, for all the glamour and for all the type match he plays up to the image you know he works hard he just works hard never stops and if you listen to any of the interviews of the people he's played with at Manchester United in particular, they all speak about how hard he worked. You know, how hard he works to be the best in the world. And I love the little clip when he was in Japan and a, a little boy tried to speak Portuguese to him and the journalists were laughing 
and he, he stopped the interview and said, what are you laughing at? He's trying, you know, how, am I, how are you trying? Because that's growth mindset. So we were speaking last night about, you know, developing confidence. And when I asked about who epitomises confidence for you, it was these sort of players. But funnily enough, there was a few keepers involved. Actually, a lot of them were forwards or forward thinking players. And that is so true because the forwards in particular, strikers, but also wide players, isn't it? We talk about he's he's a confidence player. So if and I'll use the example if you're a wide player and your strength is on the ball, pace and speed being tricky on the ball and to take players on, your confidence a lot of the time determines whether you will be on the front foot and taking the risk to go past a player. If you're not confident in those types of positions, you'll be back foot and be playing not to lose the ball football. So instead of driving at the full back, you'll be playing it inside so you won't be the one that makes the mistake. Okay? So I could understand why so many people put forward thinking players as confidence. As a striker, we all know, when we're fullest confidence as a striker, we're just hitting it. We're seeing the goal and we're hitting it. When we are low on confidence, the things that we would shoot, trust an instinct, will take maybe an extra touch. The picture changes, the centre half closes us down and we have to pass it to the side. Or we pass it to the side or move it back as well. So confidence is vital, vital for any player in any position as well. So we were speaking a lot about that last night. How, in particular, as a youth player, how do you develop confidence? What's the things that give you confidence? And what takes away from confidence? And on the back of that as well, what I've been thinking of, and I think I mentioned it earlier on the week, I'll probably, if there's a demand for it, do a confidence session here. You know, There'll be a charge for it, probably about, what well, I was charging there, about £19 or something, and, and we'll do that session here Um and I'll stream it, and if you buy a ticket, say to speak, I'll put something up, you can come to it, and we'll do it um, if we get enough demand for it as well. It's a shorter session, probably about 45 minutes, and what I find is, you know, you don't want to go over kind of 30 minutes, 45 minutes for a session, because if then, that's when, especially on the net, on the web, the interweb, as we say, your attention goes, doesn't it? Your attention wavers sometimes for a longer period. So we need to keep it short and sharp, give key information, get people involved, let them go away excited about how to apply it as well. So if you're interested in uh, a confidence session for players, this would be for players, drop a yes below and uh, I'll get that sorted out in the next couple of weeks. I've got quite a few things coming up as well. I've got I do, I've done this over the last couple of years. I've run sessions for a small group of coaches and the next session is on Monday about advanced language. So how you use language to get your point across and to bring people together and achieve a goal as a team is huge. You know, it's a huge kind of area as well and deal with different personalities. Now, the course I'm doing on Monday for advanced uh, language, there's only two places left. It's only a small course of eight coaches because it's it's very, it's an advanced course and it's in depth. And we'll be talking about some of the deeper psychological aspects of using language and understanding people and actually putting your point across in a way that people get it and it's a 90 pounds so it's not a, a cheap course it's a uh, full of quality so there's a couple of places there so if you want to get one of those places drop me a dm as well because i'm probably gonna um, advertise that today and tomorrow as well it'll probably be filled up by the weekend as well so that's the course in advanced language on monday as well for people that are interested in in it's probably the deeper psychological aspects of using language and emotional intelligence as well. So I hope everyone has a good day and I'm going to come on later on. I'm going to put a post up later on about what I was saying yesterday about you about nutrition for coming back to the game after the break as well. Very much on 
the holistic aspects of developing yourself technically tactically mentally and physically and of course the the bit that's really important is the lifestyle the things away from the park and clubs the people you surround yourself with so have a good rest of the day and watch out for that and remember if you want that confidence course just drop a yes and um, below this okay have a good day folks <laughs>